Dan Moskal here, and in this video we're going to look at uh, your SEO efforts, but it's essential that you measure and have a way of knowing if you're doing things right or if you're doing things wrong, um, and part of that is being able to track what people do when they visit your website and track what your website's ranking for along with where it's ranking and stuff. Uh, it's been a number of years. I've been doing this since 2006 and there's been a lot of years things have changed but Google will provide you a free tool. Uh, it's like their analytic, maybe it's their webmaster tools uh, but you just paste a little code in or you can upload a uh, blank page file to your URL. I'll show you how to do that stuff uh, in another video if you'd like. Just leave a comment below and I'd be happy to do that. But we're going to go ahead and just look at this website just to show you how this stuff works. This website's about credit. It's been around for quite a while. And here's what we're looking at really is um, so here's your dates. You can only go back, what is that, like three or four months here to see within the Google Webmaster Tools. I strongly suggest that you get Stat Counter and put that. That's a free service too. You can put both these codes on your website, but Stat Counter will give you all three. I'll just show you that real quick just to just so you can see. It'll give you an easy way to figure out what keywords people are typing into Google, Yahoo, and Bing when they visit your website. So here's this site that we are looking at. So people are typing in at least a Google. Here's a little bit better example. Chase liquid card check systems. So just to fully so they type that in and then there's our website. Some people are clicking on our website when they type that in. And that you can also see too here, you know, you get Bing's how to remove dispute notation from credit. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find just a little bit better example. But you can get Bing and Yahoo's keyword terms in here. There's some other really neat features with Stat Counter, but we're going to look a little bit more at the Google one because Google's obviously the biggest. And if you just look at our website, we're looking at June 15th, 2013, up to today, September 13, 2013. And let's just look at the graph. So way back here, June 15, it says we got 12 clicks from Google. That's pretty sad. Keep in mind, we have two other search engines. But let's look over here, and you can see we are obviously doing something right. You can see 30 clicks even. Oh, that was probably the weekend. Sorry. <laughs> 30 clicks here on the 17th, 600 impressions in 6 June. <laughs> Let's go over here to August and look at one. Here's August 12th. 35 clicks, a thousand impressions. And you can see obviously the chart we're going up a little bit. And it looks like we dip down a little bit over here. And then at the end today, uh, it looks like it's up to two days ago, we have 35 clicks, 900 impressions. Now 35 clicks, 900 impressions. looks like it's about in August. Now there's two things to keep in mind with this. One, SEO is not an overnight, like it doesn't happen overnight. The fact is the search engines are getting really sophisticated enough that they kind of disguise when you're doing things right. So if you expect immediate changes, it just ain't going to happen. But think about it big picture, two or three months, that's what you're building towards. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a reminder and let's just look at some of these other things in here if you have like messages or critical issues or like your site goes down or there's uh, pages that can't be found you can see that from here see uh, here's our search queries and you can see the charts going up you know like it's slowly and there's if there are ups and downs I personally believe that you almost get penalized a little bit initially when you are doing SEO work even in just adding new content to your website just <laughs> I think it's an attempt to kind of disguise when you're doing things right and stuff here's another cool little option too you can only do this I, I think it's less than 30 days but you can hit click with change 
and it'll show you how your stuff's doing. We gotta find a better example than that current one that we're looking at. And here you can see on our smaller chart we're going up and doing things correctly. Here you can see it went up three spots, it went up six spots, you know, where things went down seven tenths of a spot. <laughs> That's strange. Um, wow, these took a hit for some reason. Grant and Weber, it's up eight spots. But this way you can kind of keep, keep track of the way things are going. Don't worry about big or small little fluctuations, but try and keep a general idea and a general picture. So here's the change. That's the, uh, that might be the clicks, or maybe that's the impressions. Let's see here. Let's see what's getting the most impressions. So it's, well, here's the actual one keyword term that is, and our average position is number six. Um, so there's some more stuff. Play around with this stuff. Just the only thing I would mention with any of these tools is don't overthink them. Like with this stuff, you can see the visitor pass with Stat Counter. You can see what people are actually clicking on when they visit your website. Sorry, that's I was adding some things today, writing some new pages and uh, working with some other stuff. But you can see this person just visited this page. This person, though, they went from one page about a collection agency to our debt validation letter page and then back to that other page. They spent a couple of minutes on our website. Uh, here's another one. But you can see what pages people go to when they visit your website. And this will help you get a little bit better idea of what is speaking to people, if that makes sense. So here's a good example. They only spent about three minutes on our website, but they went from one a review of a prepaid credit card to the categories, back to the review, back to the categories, over to secured credit cards, over to credit cards for bad credit, over to credit cards for rebuilding credit. So you can just see kind of the paths, which is kind of helpful. Um, this visitor length, you can see how long people spend on your website. Uh, I think this is also called like your bounce rate. The bottom line is don't don't worry about any of these details too much. Just try and give people what you think they want the best you can. I mean, you can go and look and all these, every article we have, I certainly believe is relevant to the uh, search terms we're targeting. Like, um, <laughs> so you know what's best, but keep track of this stuff because it'll, it'll give you a good idea and avoid using any of the automation like tools, link building from the past. Um, Google's recently uh, inform people that they are penalizing websites and they have penalized websites and ignored parts of web starts, websites because it appears like they're doing spammy behavior and trying to build links from spammy websites. Uh, SEO is, has really gotten back, I remember way back in 2006 or 7 when I started doing the SEO aspect of it hearing the inbound links these are supposed to be kind of like editorial choices where you link over to another website and those are supposed to just happen naturally and you know it's this world filled of rainbows and uh, <laughs> lucky charms and stuff and that's just not that's not the way it worked before but it looks like now the search engines have finally become sophisticated enough to to really make them work the way it was intended, like that general idea of it. So this is Dan Moskal. We're doing a, a really cool training here. And if you visit our website, danmoskaluniversity.com, and sign up for our newsletter, I'll send you over a free SEO checklist to go through when you're adding new content. This is exactly what I go to and what I've passed along to a uh, relatively new business partner who we are working with on this credit site. And uh, on another side note, we're also redesigning a local and doing a lot of local SEOs. We're tweaking this website and we're barely started with it, but it's a uh, mental health therapy and we're doing some local SEO. So if you are a consultant or have a professional business and targeting local search, I mean, that is there's huge opportunities in this uh, really everywhere. I like to compare it to uh, going west in the United States when people are mining for gold 
it, it really is a bit of a gold rush. The internet's been around for a while, but there's still a lot of things out, and especially when it comes to these local searches. That's still on the uh, initial rush part, to say the least. So, anyways, uh, I am really looking forward to talking to you again soon. Please comment below. Please visit Dan Moscow University and grab your uh, free checklist that we made for you. And uh, stay with us here. Please like this video and let us know if you have any questions or uh, concerns. Have a great afternoon.